the gospel of the kingdom reintroduced the spirit of dominion that God gave to man from the beginning into the human race. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the good news of salvation born through Christ Jesus, brings, or like I said here, reintroduced to the spirit of man, the spirit of dominion, which God gave from the beginning of this world. For the scripture said in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 10, this gospel made manifest by our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death, that spirit of dominion, and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For it is written in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion. That's what God said. He said it. He said, let them, man, every one of us, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. That word, let them have dominion, contains the spoken word of God. The spoken word of God has God in it. When God speaks, he is in his word. So he put into those words himself in such a way and manner that he empowers that word to come to pass. Like when he said, let there be this, let there be this. As he said it, mm, those things manifest. So when he said, let them have dominion, the ability for everyone that receives the word or everyone that is a human being that receives that word, that word will begin to function and it will have the power to bring itself to come to pass. This is the mystery of God's word. It runs when it is spoken. It works when it is spoken. It is going to all the ends of the earth. When God said, let there be light, you guess what? Light has been created from that moment up to today. And it's still being created because he said it. 